Got a little confused at this intersection. But the only direction that makes sense is to go towards the river. Which is now visible. And there's no going down this trail, I guess. What does that say? No camping? People have been camping down here. This deer suspects something. Oh well. Alright, it looks like there's people here touring the place. It's definitely a public access. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built this. And this looks pretty modern. Pretty neat. And then of course they live nearby. You got, like, they need emergency people or something. From what I understand. And this is after the release. Lin T. Oh, a little fish popped out. It's probably full of them. Now, what is the deal with this? These wires on the on the boat. There's these these steel wires. They stand up on top. Research vessel. Keep out. Oh, but I can pass in between. Lintec. I've seen Lintec before. Aqua Life Harvester? Wow. What is the deal with that thing? Should take another pass. I don't think I fully justified the, uh, the look. Hatchery grounds closed to the public. Really? What does that mean? Hatchery grounds? So there's hatchery grounds down here? I don't understand. That's something that you would want to ask. Where are the hatchery grounds? It looks like I could go down there. They say that, yeah, I think they encourage people to go down. I don't know what they mean by hatchery grounds. There's the sewage. I'll take a look down here. Hatchery grounds. Facility closed to public. Dust. Oh, I think they mean that at night time. Yeah, what am I thinking? Do not stand on railing. Okay, so no fishing in the dark, I think. But this, <laughs> this is like where they say you could fish. Why aren't there any Indians fishing right here? I think that'd be pretty convenient. Okay. Keep off and keep out. Whatever this thing is. The ways down from the hatchery. Maybe there's some kind of underground release chamber. 
Uh, I'm told that by the state park lady at the desk that Indians can set up wherever they want. They could set up right here. But why don't they? They set up after the dam, which has an, like a 90% survival rate. So why would they why would they uh, go through the hassle of having a a low chance of catch a lower chance of catching fish? And they could just come right to the fish hatchery set up if that's our legal rights. So I go further down and there's even more fish hatchery. It looks like. This is a this is the biggest fish hatchery I've ever seen in, in a general location. Alright, so there's a hatchery host. And it even says right there. Well, there's a fairly good distance from the hatchery, but maybe that's to avoid tourists from stopping by. All right, there's a break in the fence, and it's gravel road. I guess they could enter by that road to check out this, I think, another hatchery. All right, so entering it. No fishing <laughs> in this. Who would dare? That'd be crazy. Ooh, it smells like sewage. Ugh. That's pretty nasty. Some kind of a trailer. So are there fish in this too then? Man. Biggest hatchery setup I've ever seen. These are dry. Check out these. Very sophisticated, very advanced. Yeah, these, these look dry. Ready for, I mean, they, they probably were all full, I suppose, before they did the big release during the flood. next to the Columbia. I could understand 80% of the salmon are farmed when you got a, a farm this big. Oh yeah. That's the office and then somebody's living over there for some reason. Columbia again, watering the grass with the Columbia River most likely. Okay. Well that's that's interesting. What a what a project. This is the biggest project. They make their money back though. Oh here's a little water. They make their money back in all them fees. There's a lot of little those are tiny tiny fish. Look at how tiny those guys are. Can I see any? There's like millions, hundreds of thousands making all them little thingies in the in the water. Wow. They really crowd these fish. I can't quite pick it up. Those fish are so crowded, it's just a big cloud. They're bigger, these are bigger fish. They didn't catch the ones on the end. So many, hundreds of thousands in such a small pen. It doesn't seem right to, to coop them up so much like this. You can see them just bumping into each other all day. That's not natural. They're pro they might be getting fresh enough fresh water, but they're just sitting there bumping into each other. Yeah, 
You know, these, these young salmon, these farm salmon never learn what a fishing hook is like until, until they actually see one. They don't watch what happens to their other relatives, their older relatives, and, until they're released. All right, returning back to see if the main building is open. So I think they close everything down when it's like um, closed. All right, so you got a welcome sign. I'm not sure of the hours. I think people are like hanging out here. Oh yeah, those are big fish. Those are like a foot foot and a half long. Nineteen eighty-six. Okay. Nope, it's closed. Closed the camping area. Uh, okay. This is a real professional building with a broken owl. But this city is falling apart anyway. The restaurant right next to it is no longer. Oh man, that is not looking so good. Looks like a fire going on. Yeah, they're doing free mental health screen screens. And then they're accepting applications. Yeah, there it is. They're accepting applications to, to become city council member. Isn't that something you get voted on? Oh, and then they also have library ads. Community Center Lunches, okay. Volunteer Planning Commission, Temporary Seasonal Maintenance, Positions Available, Landing Days is coming up, Parade Registration, New Museum Hours, yep, I thought, okay, they're just mixing it up. Council Position Vacant, Accepting applications. That's what gets my attention. I don't think that Priceless is in business anymore. They don't look like they are. Alright, so at the end of the parking lots, not the easy accessible end, you see you got the Goodwill. Jesus. Can't quite read that. Huh, I was hope, kind of hoping to read this. I actually I didn't see the signs when I zoomed in, but now I want to read the signs. I'm pretty sure it's standard. All right, the library is just ahead. Kennewick. Interesting. Because texts are fine, but seriously, people need to see real sentences. All right, this is Fred Myers to the library. If the car can make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna use it as a destination. I think I know the turns all. I walked it, so it's it's one and a half miles. It's it's within a reasonable distance. Now this lane right here. Uh, I don't think they want people to go down. Wow, they don't even decipher that you should not go down that lane. They got the island. It's narrow. You could have problems, but they don't even bother with traffic control. So what does that tell you? Oh my God, there's no traffic control at this intersection. Visibility is reduced. Oh my God. Okay, I just want to get into the middle lane. Oh Jesus. Uh, sort of a middle lane. It's, it's somewhat busy. 
somewhat. So I drive down until I go past uh, the cemetery and hang a left. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It was a good walk. So I put three miles in for walking today. It's 35 miles an hour. There's Marine Street, so I'm going down 10th Street. No stopping, no parking. Yep, there's a car exclusively by Windermere. There's a grape, grapevine vineyard. Yeah, here's a cemetery. I walked through that. Um, South Reed Street. Looks like I got lights to take the turn at. It's grooved pavement. Motorcycles need to use extreme caution on the grooved pavement. Very, very moderate homes. I can't say modest. They're, they're well within their a low price range. Just a step above a trailer home. Oh yeah, this is this the grooved pavement they're talking about? They got a bunch of lights on the right, possibly for construction work. Maybe they do the construction work late at night because this street gets too busy. It's a very large library lot. I like it. There's no regulation. It's large. It's next to the park. Where's the sun? Oh, that was grooved. I don't know where the sun would be positioned in the evening. I'd like to choose a spot that has the most shade. Wow, this is my turn. Wow, that's a hanging sign right there. I've never seen... Oh no, this is bad. Oh. Demonstration garden. I just don't know how busy it'll get. I'm not sure where the where the shade will line up. I, I'm so disoriented. Let's just hope that the sun aligns perfectly with this tree.